Demi, you're known for your beauty. You're known for winning these pageants. When you think about beauty, I see a culture in which it sends messages to women of all ages that you're not enough. And I'd love for you just to talk to us for a few minutes about what true beauty is and, and how you see that. When I was set to go and compete at Miss Universe, um, being the reigning Miss South Africa, it's a whole build up, right? At the time there was 95 countries competing and that year and probably in the history of Miss Universe, I was one of the shortest girls to go and compete for this title. Okay. And now if you think of models and beauty queens, they're usually tall and um, people started placing me in this box saying, oh, she won't win because she's too short. Started defining me in certain ways. And it's hard for that not to get to you, right? In the same way that I know so many young girls watch Instagram or watch social media and puts themselves in boxes that that is the way social media defines us to look or act like. Mm. But you know what? As a Christian, I've had to go back and define self-love, self-worth, self-image to myself. And the definition that I got to was, as a Christian, I need to have confidence in who God says I am. Not self-confidence, but God-confidence. And you know, in Psalm 139 it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, knit together in our mother's womb. And I love that word knit because it takes me back to remembering how my grandmother used to knit me little jerseys. We call them jerseys. What do you guys call them? Um, um, sweaters. Sweaters. <laughs> and she would make the most beautiful... Countercultural. <laughs> <laughs> she would make the most beautiful patterns. And one time she made me like a little panda bear. And we were on holiday together and she spent days just sitting there, knitting that jersey, pulling it out, redoing it, wanting to make sure that it's perfect, that that pattern she's creating on that sweater is perfect. You know, it makes me realize when I read Psalm 139 verse 13, that God knit us in our mother's womb, that He had a precise plan for our life, that He created us in love, by love, and for love. And if that does not make you feel worthy, I don't think any amount of makeup, any amount of clothes, any amount of shoes, any amount of bags will ever make you feel worthy. And I think that's